If it's your dream, never let anyone else tell you not to do it. Just don't give up. I think anyone that finds helping people rewarding will get a great deal out of medicine because it's such an interesting and exciting environment to earn a living. When you've helped someone and you've got them through whatever condition they've come in with is a very good feeling and you feel like all that education that you got through medical school was worthwhile. In my first week of university they said we want you to work hard but we also want you to play hard and if you don't do both then you're not balancing it right. Os ta'ch chi'n meddwl am ystydio meddygaeth, a peth orau chi'n gallu wneud ydy mynd allan i'r cymuned a neud proi gwaith er mwyn sicrhau yn eich meddwl chi bod chi'n barod am y taith hir sef ystydio meddygaeth. Nes i ddod i ysbyty gwynedd am wthro so brofau gwaith a dwi'n cofio ni yma fo un o'r doctor sy'n um, ar y wod y galon ac nes i jyst mwynhau o gymaint oedd o'n really funny, although really have a that interest go on in her cleavion and she's my fellow dwish of it. I'd say to keep an open mind about everything because I didn't really decide what I wanted to do until I was a little bit older. I did my work experience when I was in year 10 and then it just made me realise that I quite like to, to help patients. It just made me realise that that was something that I wanted to do. Medicine's a fantastic, sort of logical, rewarding career. If you're into science and you're very logical minded and you want to work in a system whereby you will be interacting with people a lot and the members of the public, then definitely think about medicine. The most important quality for a successful medical student is to be inquisitive, always wanting to learn, eager for knowledge and information that also puts the patient at the centre of everything that they do, that they see and that they learn. One has to learn to work in a team to be successful and one has to remember that the patient is as important a member of that team as any doctor, nurse or physiotherapist. I think bod defnyddio'r dieithrwydd yn angen reidiol i fod yn feddyg da, a'r peth fwyaf pwysig fel meddyg yw adeiladu perthynas gyda'r pobl ti'n trin, a os maen nhw'n gallu fod yn hollol gyffyrddus a gweld bod nhw'n cael eu gynnig gwasanaeth, wel, sydd y hollol amdani nhw, yn credu mae'r pwyslais wedyn ar y claf ac ar y berthynas yna. I would say that it requires a lot of hard work and determination. It's a fantastic vocation in life. It's a profession that I'm glad I came into and I certainly have found that the subjects that I chose back in school set a fantastic grounding for wanting to pursue such a career and you can also span into other branches once you're in the medical field which is also very useful. You can make a life outside medicine, it is harder than other careers to have a lot of free time but it's about work-life balance and working out the ways that you need individually to give yourself that free time. There's many different parts of medicine, lots of different things to suit different people and it's always very interesting and different and it's always a challenge. The best piece of advice I could really give to anyone who would like to study medicine is to really start thinking about it early. I think that's the, the best way you're going to decide whether or not medicine is a career for you. Studying medicine at Cardiff means that you get placements throughout Wales and I think that means you're exposed to a great diversity of patients and environments and ultimately I think that makes you a better doctor. I would say that it's a brilliant medical school, it's really progressive, it's really hands-on, really practical, which has been the best thing about it, I think, actually studying medicine here. It's a really good example of what it's going to be like to actually be a practicing doctor. I think it, it produces really caring doctors. It is a lifelong learning experience, but the rewards are incomparable. You must always remind yourself that it's a privilege, not a right, to be a doctor.